Okay, well, let's see. Can you tell me more about Inuit mythology? Uh, well, regarding the topic of mythology... Yes? I had a rather strange dream today, but I don't remember much, but... I suppose you've been reading the book I gave you before you went to sleep. It certainly gave me nightmares for a few days when I first read it, let me tell you. I guess that might be that, but I think I saw a black dog on the way here, but before I could get a closer look, it vanished. I wouldn't worry about that, Mr. Morgan. Stray dogs aren't exactly unheard of around here. Maybe so, but are there any myths and legends about vanishing black dogs? Plenty, Mr. Morgan. That is indeed an example of a creature that appears in many different forms throughout myths of various cultures. Black dogs stalking travelers at night, believed to be an omen of death, are one of the common motifs in human mythology. An omen of what? When it comes to the myths of the Inuit, the most obvious suspect will be the Keelet. The Keelet is a spirit of death, and when one appears to the person, it's believed that their doom is at hand. It leaves the underworld during winter when it needs to feed. It prowls the snowy wastes, stalking travelers at night. Its tracks disappear quickly in the snow, so their victim doesn't know that a Keelet is hunting them until it's too late. And when the victim at last catches the sight of the Keelet, at once he's disoriented and weak. Then either the beast attacks or it lets the elements or other dangers claim its prey. Then, once their prey perishes, it can feast on their flesh, quite grisly. Catching a glimpse of such a creature is an ill omen. The keelet is a herald of death, and its mere appearance is said to foretell a dark fate indeed for the observer. You look really pale, Mr. Morgan. Are you all right? I just... well, what if that dog I saw earlier was a keelet? <laughs> I didn't take you for a superstitious type, Mr. Morgan. I can assure you that you don't need to worry about this. When it comes to these stories, they are oftentimes meant as either an entertaining way to pass the time, fables, or to warn the listener to avoid doing something foolish. For instance, have you heard of the Amarok? Amarok. The name sounds familiar. Amarok is a giant mythical wolf that hunts alone. It is said to devour any hunter foolish enough to venture on a hunt alone at night. Now, can you think of a reason as to why someone shouldn't hunt alone at night? Presumably because if they do, they'll be devoured by Amarok. <laughs> Quite the answer. Amarok is the subject of many legends. In one, the great wolf helps a weak, hunchbacked young boy become strong enough to wrestle down three giant bears. Uh, dare I ask how? Amarok hits him with its tail so hard that a number of bones fall out of his body, bad bones that have stunted his growth and prevented him from reaching his potential. The boy then returns day by day to wrestle with the Amarok until at last he is strong enough to defeat those three bears. If only it were that easy. Amarok also hunts the caribou to prevent them from becoming overpopulated so that only the strong and healthy survive. Quite a fascinating creature. What's that really doing anything? Are well, you right, Mr. Morgan? I'm fine, let's just change the subject. Well, oh, I guess he doesn't have anything else to tell us. <laughs> I have to go now. I'll talk to you later once I think it's a good time to get Natalia. Natalie, her present. Oh, wait, is it Natalie or Natalia? They said Natalia all the other times, right? No one else is gonna say anything else, right? Yeah, so that was Lily. And you're, you, you, there's Percy. Yeah, you're our, you're Professor Brooks. Brooks. Yeah, you people aren't anything new to say. What am I wasting my time for? Anything else to look at? Anyone else to talk to? Anything happening out around here? We saw the Doge. The Doge it existed. My jump is disabled at the moment. I was gonna hop around like a fool. Oh well, I guess it's time to kick this pig. Let's go. It's time for Natalia's present. I think it's time to get Natalia her present. Splendid! Now let's get everyone together. And now that we're all gathered here, I believe Mr. Morgan had something to say. Yes, on behalf of everyone who donated, I wish to give Natalia her present. What are you talking about, Al? Here, take this. It's from all of us. Wait. There's so much money here. I, I can't take this. I... Come on, Nat. We all know how hard it is for your folks since your dad's accident. Let us help you. I, I, that's nice of you to offer, but I can't take advantage of your generosity. I... Nat, how many times have you helped me study for exams? To be honest, I don't think I ever stopped. Right, and how many here can say the same? I know you. You've helped each and every person here with something. You were always there when we needed you. And now you need help. So let us repay your kindness. This is great, truly. It's just... Al, I know what your father... Or I know what you father thinks of me. That I'm just using you for your money. I don't want that to be true. You know, Nat, Alex told me something today. And after thinking it over, it seems like he actually had a good idea for once. That would be a first. Hey! 
My father doesn't know you, so in his ignorance, he fills the void with his worst fears. He should meet you. If he gets to know you, he will understand. Just how wrong he's about you. Uh, it, in that case, you would want to be like, he is not... I mean, that contraction is not necessarily wrong, but it really doesn't flow correctly. And if not, then his opinion is not worth anything in the first place. I, I don't know what to say. Just say thank you. <laughs> you are right. Where are my manners? Thank you all. I truly appreciate this. I swear that I'll pay you back as soon as I'm able to. Nat, you don't have to do that. You already helped us more than you know. This is just a drop in the bucket compared to what you do for us each day. Oh, what you do for me. You are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I mean it. I feel the same way, Al. Doggo! Wait, what's happening? No, Doggo! Bonk? Did I get bonked? What happened? You hit your head real hard and me and the Doctor Carter had to carry you here. That's a relief. I had this nightmare. There was a monster and... That wasn't a nightmare, Al. That actually happened. Please tell me you're joking. Indeed, I regret to inform you, Mr. Morgan, that right now some vicious creatures infest the university, and, and so far we had no luck contacting anyone for a rescue. We also don't know what happened to the others. We haven't left this room since we came here. Wait a minute, Nat, those bandages. Are you injured? Nothing serious. One of those creatures scratched me, that's all. In any case, we need to find the others and bring them here. They could be in danger. I wouldn't advise you to travel the campus grounds after after a blow to the head like that, Mr. Morgan, but seeing what's at stake, I don't think we have many options. Yes, I'll go look for the others and bring them here. Not try to contact someone who can help over the phone. There might not be any signal right now, but hopefully that will change as the snowstorm grows weaker. On it! I'll take care of any injured persons you bring back with you, Mr. Morgan. Be sure to return if you need any medical treatment yourself. Just be careful, Al. Don't spend too long outside. You could freeze to death in this blizzard. Also, if you have to go anywhere where those monsters are, don't run everywhere. Try to move slowly and even stand still when needed. It should be much harder for them to detect you that way. Not to mention, be extra careful if they are looking at your direction. It will be even easier for them to detect you then. I'll keep that in mind, but now I better go. Who knows what situation the others are in. Obtain Book of Survival Tips and List of Missing Persons. Use the Book of Survival Tips if you need more information about the gameplay. If you get trapped in a narrow space with a monster with no way out, you can hold W to turn towards it without moving, and then press Q to jump for it. You can only do so once every ovary 16 seconds. Also, if you get a game over, you can press Enter to skip the long animation. There's a long animation for the game over. Ooh, ah. What is this? What? I can sit in the wheelchairs. They wouldn't attack a cripple, would they? Eh. Any, any, anything in here? Any, any, any stuff? I guess we should keep in mind that glowies are probably the only important yeah, important things. Computer? Withdraw Pokemon. Still no response. It's probably caused by the blizzard. A snowstorm is heavy is found to have some effect. <laughs> where do you think the others are? Well, I don't know where they are, but maybe I can try to think of where you should start searching for each one. Please do. I don't even know where to start. Alright, let me think. I think I saw Nancy heading to the dorms, but I'm not really sure. She probably went to her room. It's somewhere on the third floor. If we know Alex, he's probably searching for both of us already. He's probably waiting in either you or my room at the other dorms. Yes, we both have our rooms on the second floor. I, I'll check it out. While you are at it, check also the bathrooms and restrooms at the same floor of the dorms. It's possible one of those monsters spotted him and he barricaded himself inside. Lily... Well, I doubt she ran outside. She wouldn't risk ruining her fancy clothes. She's probably hiding somewhere in the main building. Well, I guess that's a start. Anything more specific? Well, I don't think she'd make it very far. She's not the bravest, so she's probably on one of the lower floors. Either the first or second floor of the main building. Let's start with the reception area near the main entrance. Should be a good hiding place. If she's not there, check the classrooms on the first and second floors. She might be hiding in one. And if not, the restrooms on the first and second floors of the main buildings are the only other place I can think of where she could be. Are these people randomized throughout the building? Claire, I heard that she sometimes goes to train alone in one of the storehouses south of the gym, but I don't know which one, so check them both. Seems like the hiding place for her. I think I saw Eric running towards the gym, but in this blizzard it's hard to know for sure if it was really him. If he's there, he's probably hiding in some smaller room. 
Maybe check the restrooms. I doubt that he's in the pool area. The monsters would surely see him in an open space like that. Cody would probably stay close to Eric. So wherever Eric went from the cafeteria, Cody should be pretty close. So the gym, probably. I'll maybe check one of the changing rooms of the teacher's office in the gym building. If he's not there, then maybe he's hiding in some dark corner of the gymnasium. You know, the giant room in the northeastern part of the gym building. Last I saw Percy, he ran to hide in the kitchen inside the cafeteria. Maybe he's still there. Professor Carter must be pretty shocked to see him and come to life. He might have went to the library, either to research those athletes or simply because he knows that place well. The pathology section of the library is located in the main room of the library, at the northern end of the building, so check there. I'm forgetting all of this information, just so you know. At least it's all bookworms, so if you search for her, you should be sure to check the library first. She's the most comfortable there. I doubt that she made it too far from the entrance, though, so check the rooms near the entrance first. If she's not there, then she's probably in one of the small rooms on the other side of the hallway. I doubt that she made it as far as the main room at the northern end of the building. You don't need this, huh? Eh. Professor Brooks is probably somewhere in the main building trying to find others. She has an office on, at the second floor, in the southeast corner, I think. If she's not there, then maybe she went to look for the headmaster on the third floor. So, if you don't find her in her office, check the third floor of the main building. She might be hiding in one of the offices or, or classrooms there. The Dean. Well, I'd start with his office at the third floor of the main building. It's in the northern part of the floor, near the restrooms. Thanks, Nat. That will surely help me get everyone here. I have forgotten everything. Just come back in one piece, Al. That's all I ask. Right. Well, was there anything else to say? Yeah, it's still in her spot. We're not going to ask about those specific people because it's just starting on Of course, be careful, Al. What about you? The patients are stable, but it would be for the best if they could go to the hospital as soon as possible. However, with all that's been happening, I'm not sure when that will be. Well, I don't need treatment, but I'll ask anyway. I don't feel that good, Doctor. Can you help me? Hold on, let me examine you. Doesn't seem like anything too serious. Here, this should help. HP and endurance has been restored. You also no longer suffer from any ailments. So I guess that would be frostbite if I had it. Yeah, yeah. Ask about missing people. Do you have any idea where the others might be, Doctor? Not at all. You should probably ask Natalia. She knows them better than me. Alright. Well, I guess we're going. Can't put it off any longer. So this is like a separate building from the rest. Uh, what's over here? I need a key to the shed to get inside. Well, if I need to get inside, that is. Eh. I should have just given him my normal voice. I guess it's not too late to switch back. Uh, hey, does it go down faster if I'm in the snow? Doesn't look like it. I also don't see any bad dudes out here, so... Oh, what's that? Okay, so... We could be in hostile territory. It's kind of hard to tell. This doesn't seem to be a very big building, though. Aha! Uh -huh, we found a friend. Eh. Finally, I thought I was the only one who got away. Did you see anyone else? The others are all holed up in Dr. Carter's office. It's safe there. Come with me, Claire. Claire rescued! Pluff. Just like that, eh? Okay. Well, that's not too bad. We can, we can go drop her off and recover our endurance. So it doesn't go back up on its own. So when we saw that dog ghost appear, I noticed that it howled as soon as we were done. I wonder if that means uh, it alerts the enemies to my location. You know, when I wanted more excitement in life, a monster vision wasn't what I wanted. It'll be okay, Claire. Help me, doctor. Treat me. There we go. All better. Okay. So let's see what else we can get done. Anybody in here? Good or bad? I guess I can kind of just duck into these buildings to get away from monsters if I need to. But no one was hiding here, so... Mm -hmm. Are all these doors locked? No, this one is not. We're in the gym. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's a dog on the other side of the wall. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, no, no. You don't see anything. 
Hi, friendo. Oh, it's you, Alistair. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but maybe you should find your own hiding place. It's getting a bit crowded in here. How about you come with me instead? The others are holed up in Dr. Carter's office. It's safe there. Eric rescued! Yippee! Alright, so we got uh, one down. Well, two down, technically. But there's a dogman here. There's a dogman. It's a pretty well lit for a bathroom. Does, uh, does the power get hurt whenever they howl? Or has that just been a coincidence? I'm guessing uh, my visibility is heightened whenever they, uh, whenever the lights go up like that. Like they'll have an easier time spotting me, perhaps. Nobody's hiding over here, but they did say there was like more than one person who probably came here. Hmm. All right, there's the pool area. It's like wide open. Yeah, like they said. Borf, borf. You didn't see anything. No, no. Oh boy. Ow! Damn it. Ow, damn it. <laughs> they still after me? That one is crap. <laughs> Dang it, guy. <laughs> Alright, hold on a second. Uh. Let's just take it nice and easy, eh? So, gosh, I ran pretty far and they still chased me all the way there. I wonder if I'm better off just leaving a building if I get caught. I'm a lot less worried about, like, my endurance taking a hit than my health. Uh... Oi! Rude, dog. Did I successfully get away that time? Okay, so when that when that dog appears near you, it does alert them. Pretty rude. But you know, I guess they would have a pretty tough time catching me if they didn't have anything to help guide them to me sometimes. Alright, so like, what's up with this big empty space here? Oh, we can 